Today's video is brought to you by Audible.com. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. Hey, people out there on the internet, welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. Now, today we're doing something kind of interesting. We have a couple different places that we do testing now, now that the team's got a little bit larger. Now, we have the original test station that we brought you with Captain Kevy. They have that and everything over at the other location, but I needed a test bed here at my location so I could do some of the testing and emulate what's going on. So I decided, hey man, why not go out and get a really gnarly test station. So I got a Demos Tech Easy V3. Now this thing is just huge. It'll store any type of motherboard that there is, all kinds of peripherals up the yin yang, water cooling, power supplies, you name it, this thing will take it all. So I start out though using an ASUS Z87 Deluxe motherboard. This is a really fine motherboard. Has lots of features on it for doing the testing. Didn't really figure I needed a quad testing motherboard right at this time. This thing will do up to three cards and I think that's pretty much within my limits at the moment. As far as the CPU goes, we're using the latest Intel i7-4770K CPU. Now this thing's gonna be overclocked to about 4.2, 4.3 because we are using liquid cooling. We're using a hybrid SwiftTech slash Monsoon system. All of the major components that matter pretty much are all by SwiftTech, the block, the radiator, all the tubes. The only thing different is the reservoir. The reservoir is my monsoon. It's nice and long. It's all colored in red and it looks really, really cool. Memory, 32 gigabytes of Patriot Viper. This is their really fast 2133 stuff. I'm gonna have that overclocked as well on the board. Now, you guys can see there's plenty of room around the area in the test station for doing pretty much whatever you want. You can even set cards on the station. You can set parts around. It's very easy to interchange. And due to the size, any motherboard can go on here. It doesn't matter what motherboard. You can even have a server motherboard and it will fit on top of this bad boy. Now, right now on the test station, I currently have the latest 280X from Sapphire on there because that's going to be the latest thing that we're testing. But this is the new test station. I think it's really cool. It's very, very easy to work with. I really want to stress that a lot. Very easy to work with. Now, as far as storage goes, we have two types of storage. We have the SSD brought to you. This is the latest Neutron 240 gigabyte SSD from the people over at Corsair. Thank you once again, Mr. Rickster, appreciate that. And we also have a Western Digital two terabyte black drive for our major media drive. So that's pretty much it. We use a lot of different custom cabling and type of stuff all around the build. You guys can see that. And also the really the main thing about this test station is the room. You have so much room in this test station to work with. You can put any kind of video cards on there, any type of motherboard. You guys can see there's just over adequate room. Now, mind you, real estate, yeah, this sucker does take up some real estate and it is pretty heavy. But to me, the Demos Tech test station so far has been the best one that I think we've brought in the lab. We've had the Danger Den ones. We've had ones from all kinds of name brands. We even had a giant, huge thing from Inwin. I know a lot of people like that one. Um, to me, that one was just too damn big. This one to me is like right in that perfect spot. It's big enough to be adequate to use everything I want to use, but not so big that it's like hauling a truck around. Like when I worked at Newegg, I remember that Paul got this giant one in. Like I thought about, should I get this thing? Then I saw them basically like legging around like a backpack and I went, I didn't want that thing. So this one I have to say, I'm pretty happy with, but hey, before I go, I wanna to talk to you guys just a little bit more about this audible.com thing because it's actually really pretty cool. I actually got turned on this a while back from a friend of mine, Adrian, before we even got contacted by these guys because this guy works all the time and has like eight kids. I'm not even joking, this dude has eight kids and the only time he can enjoy books is driving pretty much back and forth to work. So I remember last year he told me his big solution was going to this thing, going audible.com. I just download my books and I listen to them going back and forth. So I thought, you know what? I'll try this as well to see what it's like. And so I got Ender's Game. Orson Scott card thing. I'm totally familiar with this thing because like I read it years ago, but reading it, is a lot different than having somebody narrate it and talk it out to you. This book happens to be a book though that I can wholeheartedly recommend. I like it a lot. If you guys wanna read it to check it out, you guys can now get it for free. Audible.com forward slash tomorrow. You guys can download the app. It works with your Android device. It works with your Apple device. 
So if you'd like to download a free book and support Tech of Tomorrow all in a single slice, then go to audible.com forward slash tomorrow and you can do that. We also want to give a big thanks out to audible.com for making this happen. So before I'm out of here, once again, all that information will be down there below the like button, down the description tab where you guys can check out everything for yourself. I'm Elric. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech action tomorrow.